potential of the private sector. Stop it! Stop it, you kids! You kids! Ronald Debo of Rema Group of Companies and Caesar Draetabo are the two personalities who contested for the position of chairman. But Draetabo withdrew his documents claiming more voters at the voting venue than the registered number of 220 voters on the register. His protest comes after the team from Chamber of Commerce Secretariat verified the list by reading the names of the registered voters. The number of people here is more than 222. There are people whose names are entered double. You have double entry, you have people who have don't, don't have address. This is just an election of this, and I can't participate in it. You are taking a rural city to a point where you, you will regret. The provocation forced the security officers, police and army to throw Draetabo out of the voting premises. He called the process an election for thieves. You are thieves! I can't participate in this thing! No! You, you are destroying the, the partner. You are destroying what the president is doing. The president ensures that, that we have a private sector. Don't, don't get thieves. Don't allow thieves to see. However, the organizers of the election went ahead with the voting process that saw they were declared an opposed winner for the position of chairman, Chamber of Commerce, Arua City Brands. They were replaced Jackson Lee Buti Atima, whose term of office expired in August 2023. I, Deborah Ronald, in the name of the Almighty God, I solemnly affirm that I will give faith and service to the National Chamber of Commerce industry as the chairperson, I will support and uphold the constitution of the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by law established. So help me God. Tony Otaya took the position of vice chairman and Haji Jamal Erma took the position of treasurer while Rose Munduni retained his position for secretary and Miria Ahmed Miria replaced Josiga Bakole as the coordinator. Other committee chairpersons were elected for the various sectors of tourism, education, health, transport, finance and engineering among others. Debo made a commitment to ensure the bad relationship between URI and the smugglers is harmonized and those engaged in smuggling can legalize their businesses. We went to talk to the smugglers to tell them that smuggling is illegal and we went to tell them that uh, we can work with URA. Taxes can be negotiated. We're going to engage URA. We shall be a link between the informal sector and the formal sector of the business. So we shall listen to the smugglers, listen to URA and come up with an understanding. Because uh, four days ago, a smuggler was shot dead in Koboko. Uh, the other time, we saw officers being attacked by smugglers. So the relationship between URA and smugglers is a very complex one. But as chamber, we will try our best to bridge the gap and make sure these smugglers, there are people who say smugglers, but now they have petrol systems. We need to encourage them to say that you can do business in a formal way and pay less tax. The tax we are running away from actually not so much. Atima, the outgoing chairman, is pleased with the new team, describing them as competent to complete issues at hand and those he lobbied. Uh, to feed the local uh, population of West Nile, this money and Nebi substation need to be fed to the Ewata power station. So the, the passage the line is the transmission line from Moni substation to a water which has you know distributed power across has not been catered for and that's what we are advocating for that's what we are pushing the Ministry of Energy we are pushing government to ensure that a special attention affirmative action be done for this if you try to mix politics and security that's when you will lose it because the politics is the only thing that will Protection of people's life and their property together with the police. And we have done our work. Thank you, police, for a good job done. The elections were officiated by the acting Arua City Commercial Officer, Jobel Aiko, who called for Chamber to ensure city grows in service delivery and become a center of excellence with a vibrant private sector and small associations to become better business points. Robert Ariaka reporting for the news in Arua City.